Whoa. Big move, Nintendo. Big move. What is going on, everybody? How? are y'all doing before we get started with the video you already know give the video a thumbs up thumbs up let's get it over 200 likes 200 but let's get right to the news big breaking news this morning nintendo has acquired next level games this means next level games has officially become a nintendo first party developer now next level games for a good while now they've been making strictly nintendo ips nintendo has given them permission to use their ips to produce games for them most notably and most recently for the switch luigi's mansion 3 great game phenomenal game all the while while i was playing and beating this game i was saying in my head man i wish nintendo had achievements but we stopped beating that horse but next level games dope 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 developer other notable titles that put a smile on my face for the potential for Nintendo for 2021. Is Nintendo gonna start releasing games? Come on, Nintendo. We're fiending. We're fiending. We're ready for some games, bro. <coughs> All of last year was just Animal Crossing, bro. I played Animal Crossing for like two weeks. It was like crickets for the rest of the year for me and Nintendo. But Next Level Games has made Luigi's Mansion 3 recently, the Luigi's Mansion series. Punch out on the Wii. One of my favorite punch out games. That DJ dude when he gets hit. <laughs> bro, punch out on the Wii was fire. And, bro, do you know how long it's been since we had a Mario Strikers game? <sighs> man, it's been so long, man. And so they also made the Mario Strikers um, series. And so hopefully, 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 not hopefully, they got to have something planned for Nintendo to outright acquire them that something big is cooking up with next level games and Nintendo. Can't wait to see what Nintendo's going to do this year, man. This is the year. The rumored Switch Pro is coming out. We're going to talk about that towards the end of the video. But... Next Level Games has been acquired by Nintendo. I can't wait to see the content they continue to produce on the Switch or Nintendo's next-gen system. Next news, bro. Back to back. Well, this one isn't strictly Nintendo news, but heavily Nintendo news. Monster Hunter Rise. Capcom has confirmed a Monster Hunter Rise digital event will take place january 7th at 9 a.m eastern standard time the event is set to showcase a trailer and go over more details of the game i might this might be uh, the next game i get on my switch haven't touched my switch in a minute haven't been um any real games the only game this year that i think i missed was um the zelda Ganon Age of Calamity, which I'm still going to end up getting, but um, this will be a good reason for me to turn on my Switch in 2021. Um, been get, get, going through those PlayStation games, man. I'm loving Sackboy right now. Uh, after I beat Sackboy, I'll be done with the PlayStation exclusives. Then I might give Age of Calamity a look, but Monster Hunter Rise Digital Event, January 7th. I've never been big on the Monster Hunter series. This game, since it's been announced for the Switch, it's been leaked that 
it's also going to be coming to the PC. And so I may hold out to see if this is just a time exclusive for the Switch. I really don't want to play any games at 30 frames per second, bro. And so if this comes out on the PS5 at 60 frames per second, I'll probably just get it on my PS5. Um, this is another reason why I think Nintendo needs a Switch Pro. Um, cause they're falling behind with just the frame rates and graphical fidelity in many of their games. But the game definitely does look good. Um, uh, might give this game a look, but Monster Hunter, um, Rise Digital Event, January 7th, January 7th, coming to a streaming platform near you. I don't know if I'm going to stream it yet though. I'm not that big on Monster Hunter. I may, I may not just look out, whatever. All right. Bro, the next news item and one of my most anticipated games of 2021, Kena Bridge of Spirits and the official PlayStation Magazine, the developers sat down, went over more details of the game and most notably, they got to see the game in action on the PlayStation 5, running on the PlayStation 5, bro. Talking about Nintendo, <laughs> if you are a Zelda or a Pikmin fan, it seems like this is the game. If Zelda and Pikmin had a baby, it would be Kena Bridge of Spirits. The game looks phenomenal. We got gameplay in the last um, trailer and all the way back in June last year. This game was originally, originally supposed to come out holiday 2020, but I'm sort of glad it didn't come out holiday 2020 because there's so many PlayStation 5 games to play. I'm still going through them. I just said, Sack Boy, I just realized I still didn't even Platinum Astral Playroom, bro. I got a Platinum Astral Playroom. And so, Kena Bridge of Spirits, I want to play this game so bad. One of my most anticipated games of 2021. And the fact that the official PlayStation Magazine got to have hands-on time with the PlayStation 5 game lets us know this is going to be an early 2021, first half of 2021 release, bro. Stay tuned for our PlayStation State of Play announcement soon. It's been rumored that one will be coming in either January, February, early 2021. Sony has confirmed a lot of games coming in 2021, but we don't have the specific dates yet. And so I can't wait to get the date for Kena Bridge of Spirits. Bro, when it rains, it pours for Cyberpunk 2077 check this out cyberpunk 2077 has lost 79 percent of its steam players since launch ouch bro the game hasn't even been out for that long and it experienced a 79 percent drop off on Steam, the PC version of the game. This is why this is notable. The console versions run like trash <laughs> compared to the PC, especially if you had a base model, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. You didn't even get a game, bro. You probably got it refunded. And now it's being reported that the game has experienced nearly an 80% drop off already on Steam. They're saying that the drop-off of this game is three times faster than the drop-off of Witcher 3, um, CD Projekt Red's last major game. And so, this is a prime lesson for gamers and developers. First, gamers, don't pressure studios to just release games. Let the developers release games when they're ready and developers... Stop trying to make the holiday crunch, bro. Trying to get these holiday sales because in cyberpunk situation did way more harm than good. And so tough, tough, tough situation for uh, cyberpunk. And last but not least, I thought this article was interesting. So I wanted to share it. GameSpot. They um, sat, no, they didn't sit down, but they um, had a survey 
from an industry analyst, Matt Piscatella of the NPD Group. And one of his predictions was that the Nintendo Switch will be the best-selling console for 2021, which I think it will be, even though the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are newer hardware. One, the Switch is a handheld, so it's sort of in its own lane, and it's going to be a cheaper price, almost half the price at 300 with the other consoles at 500 it's going to be coming in at $200 cheaper. And Nintendo has a, um, it's more widely available. The production line is smoother for the Switch. And so the PS5 and Xbox Series X could still be limited with console, with um, just manufacturing strengths for 2021. But either way, the Switch is going to sell good. Nintendo handhelds always sell good. And with the rumored Switch Pro, I want to see what this Switch Pro is all about. And so a rumored new Switch Pro coming in 2021. Interesting to see how, how, how um, the, all three consoles will sell for this, gen, um, this year. And so it's being um, reported by industry, um, not industry, and this insider and uh, analyst, Matt Piscatel of the NPD Group. He's predicting the Switch will continue its momentum into next year. The Switch has really a monopoly on handheld gaming with like controllers um i'm surprised either sony or microsoft haven't seen this i think sony is cooking up another playstation portable behind the scenes they see the sales they know what's going on in japan handhelds sell great in japan so don't be surprised we get a playstation vita type announcement coming this year all right dudes those are all the news items for this video what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out peace you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me i gotta hook you up that's right i'm giving away a 60 dollar digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Peace.